All right, the testimony to what I witnessed once I closed the door. So this is the series of events. My green light was go downstairs. I can't disclose what I was supposed to do. It was guidance and prayer meditation, so I did. It was about to get dark out. It was within 20 minutes of getting dark, half an hour at max. Because I remember, like it was yesterday, within half an hour after this testimony I'm giving you, this series of events, within half an hour it was dark out. Okay, so whatever time it was, around 7.30. All right. This is the night that I discovered the door had been open. So I'd been downstairs a couple times before that in the relative time span of one hour or two hours before I discovered the back door open. Um, and no, there was no breeze coming through. There was no back door open. So with my guidance, I, I, I went out of my room and I really think and praise God for that. Because I, I don't know how I knew to do that. It was God that told me to do it. Guided me prayer, intuition. It was gut instinct. You know, I just got up and I went down and I wanted to handle some business down here that I can't disclose. And while I was down here, I saw the back door and that testimony, you can go ahead and look up. I already covered that testimony. It's on a prior video testimony. All right. So I went back up, closed the door, did what I was out to do down here, which I can't disclose on the internet. And within 10 minutes, 15 minutes at max, the doorbell rings. I can't describe the, who the individual was. I cannot make any descriptions about who the individual was. So I stood at the stairs. I watched the individual stand there. That individual was holding a cell phone the whole time, staring at their cell phone while they're ringing my doorbell. They, they stand for a good two minutes on this, this, the porch right by the gate. Then they leave the whole time while they're standing there, they're looking at their cell phone. They walked to the... Uh, sidewalk. At that point, my green light was go downstairs and stay out of sight, but watch the sidewalk. So I did go downstairs to the corridor, go right up to the front door. So I did it. So I'm standing kind of side, sideways by the door. I'm not going to get si sidetracked with describing that. And so I see that individual coming. They had gone towards S Street and they were strolling back. Real calm, creep. Total suspect, suspect individual times 10. I open the door, I say, excuse me, you were just ringing the doorbell, what do you want? They then said they were looking for Xavier, no, no, it was Tom. The name they were looking for was a male name, a man's name, and it started with a T. And I said, spell that with English, please, in English, something like that. Okay, I said that. Then they started to spell it, and it, they, they said X, A, like they, they were just putting me on. And the whole time they were talking to me, they were still holding their cell phone. They were going up and down the street, holding their cell phone on the sidewalk. Okay, so then the individual, I said, what address are you looking for? Please read it out. Th then they said 1507, and I pointed to it. And the individual said, no, 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 I don't want to go anymore. Put their hand up to me and waved me off and said, no, 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 I don't want to go anymore. And they walked the opposite direction towards 16th, which is going towards 1511 on down S Street. It was obvious suspect. OK, this was within 12 minutes after I discovered the back door and had closed it and secured it. OK, so I'm upstairs and the hours have gone by a few and it's 1030 at night. By 10 o'clock, this incident went for a good half an hour. I sat there. I watched the whole thing. There was a series of individuals that would come from the alley and from one of the backyards to, you're looking at the alley from my window, right? So you're going left. The flashlights were coming from the left and from the alley. Okay, dose, two places. All right, they were shining lights into my backyard to my back door. I clearly witnessed that. They were shining fast, come back about five minutes later, shining more. They kept like a burglar stalking the backyard and the back door. It was clear suspect burglary, stuff like that. Then they went 
to the back alley, and then by 10.30, they got really aggressive. At that point, they had a bigger flashlight, and they just were shining the flashlight directly on the door for 1001, 1002, like you couldn't help but notice that. But then they would hide the light. And then they did that about four times. They were desperate to see what was going on with that back door, standing right in the alley and just shining the light right at the house. Okay, by 10.30 p.m. with that really, really bright flashlight, so on and so forth, I can't make comments on anything that's happening inside of this carousel, right? I need to finish this and wrap it up. With that really bright flash light shining right on the back door that I had closed and secured, at that point, the series of really bright lights, they, they turned that, the flashlights up times three. They were really trying to see and kept coming back every five minutes, just shining light on that back door, the whole area, the whole bottom area of 1509 S Street Northwest. It was obvious burglars, obvious suspect, freaking jaw dropping. Somebody had come in here through a cubby hole, which I've witnessed. I witnessed another one yesterday, but I can't report this. I know where these, this three cubby hole, why well, the one yesterday is like amazing. The one yesterday, I can say this, is like what you would see on a TV show or what you see on the news. It's down in the basement. I have seen it. So the fact that this lawyer is sending me letters, it's done. We're done. I'm contacting an attorney. This lawyer will be contacted by attorney, but it more than likely will be a criminal charge. I mean, it's obvious terrorist cell that this is astounding. I don't know if the attorney I hire is going to actually be able to contact this attorney and even bring a case without having to get federal agents to arrest that attorney that keeps sending me letters. This is what I'm trying to say, all right? Anyways, all right, to wrap it up. So the flashlight got really bright and my heart was racing. I'm like, oh my God, they're going to fucking home invade me, man. And they're going to come from the damn dark pitch black alley. And at that point, everything stopped. And my guidance was, don't talk, don't walk around, sit in your chair and be quiet. And I went to bed and I prayed for my life. And I was, by the grace of God, safe and sound and woke up the next day. That is what I'm surviving in this house. Terrifying experiences, endless like this. And then I get endless harassment by the mob. Endless, endless harassment by the mob. And then the following day, I'm crapping my pants and chased around with chemical military grade gas endlessly.